Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a go at making some yarn out of an old t-shirt. So to do that, all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and a shirt. So to start with, what we do is we just lie it down flat, like this. And then we're going to take our scissors and we're going to cut from one armpit across to the other. So right across the chest. Okay, so we can get rid of this bit with the sleeves, we're not going to use this for now. And we're just left with this kind of tubular part. So what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it and then we're going to take one end and fold it up to the other end but leaving about an inch at the other end. Okay so you're not going to want to cut that. Take our scissors again and we're going to cut strips maybe about an inch to half an inch thick, all the way up to the end of our fold, but you're going to want to leave that one inch spare up the top because that's what's going to help us create like one long piece instead of lots of little bits okay so you're going to create those strips the whole way along our shirt Okay, so what you're going to want to do when you get to this last bit where you've got the hem at the bottom of your shirt, you just want to carry on snipping, go all the way to the end and remove that. Get rid of that. Okay, so now you've got your strips. What you're going to want to do is open it up. So... You're going to open it up so that you've got, it looks a bit like a rib cage, where you've got the side of your shirt facing towards you, and your strips either side. You're then going to take your scissors and you're going to cut up in a diagonal motion. So we're going to go from the base over here to this guy here. We're then going to go from this side here to this side here. We're going to constantly go up in that diagonal motion and that's what's going to give us one long continuous strip of fabric. So start down the bottom. There we go. And from this guy here Okay, so now you've got your bundle of rags. What you're going to do is you're going to take 
take an end. And what I'd recommend doing is just running it through your hands like this. What this is going to do is stretch it and also make more of a kind of round um, shape so that your yarn starts to make a kind of a string and then you'll be able to roll that up into a ball um, and make your ball of yarn. <laughs>